all right welcome back to the channel guys it's starting to get a little chilly and saving up a little bit of money knew this time was coming and we picked up a rear windshield we're going to be pulling this little quarter windshield off and then we've got a front glass windshield with a little eek, 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 hand wiper gonna throw it on there really like the k&m setup washer electric wiper all that good stuff didn't have that kind of money to put in it um, so we went with this windshield here uh, about the cheapest one I could find uh, came with a little hand wiper all right well that fell right out but it's a little 14 inch wiper uh, from the pictures, I think it could be bigger. Yeah, they all could. Anyway, so I got a 17 and a 19. Uh, got everything out. Was going through the parts list for the front windshield. Came with a bag of goodies. And every nut in here. You see them right there. There's a couple of nuts. Uh, every one of them was the wrong size. So, since all of them was the wrong size, I had to make a trip to town and pick up these bad boys. 12 of them. Not that big of a deal. 45 cents. But the 45 cents costed me what, five, seven dollars to drive 35 minutes to the hardware store. 35 minutes back. Anyway, it, uh, it slowed us down this morning. But we got the full windshield and the little back windshield. And what brought this along, what made this happen, was uh, I've been saving a little bit. I was definitely going to do a front windshield and a back windshield, but I've been waiting. I was like, well, I'll just wait till it gets, you know, good and cold. Right now, it still ain't bad. I don't really care for a full windshield setup. They stay dirty all the time. You got to clean them all the time. Uh, I enjoy the the wind in my face. So the quarter windshield is 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 how I like to ride, but. It's getting a little bit chill, a little chilly. I came across a deal on some slightly used, so new to me. I ain't gonna build, I ain't gonna get them out. I'll just show them to you down in there. Some used upper doors. Like I said, came across a deal on them. A uh, guy wrote me to see if I'd be interested in them. I think he said they used four to five rides, something like that. He's going a different route. Uh, these do have the frames in them, which is a must have for me. Uh, so they will open and shut with the door. So that gets two thumbs up. Uh, I don't like the ones you got to zip to get out. Especially when the zippers get muddy and it's just a big old hassle. Uh, at least I think it is anyway. But came across the deal on those. Picked both of those up for, I don't know, almost around half price. Something like that. So when he wrote me and asked if I was interested in them, we worked out a deal. I said, sure, I'll take them. So I figured since I got the doors, might as well go ahead. Mom spend the money, get it over with. Um, so I cut back a little bit more on the windshield uh, and wiper set up to kind of cover the, the upper doors a little bit uh, and the back glass. So the back glass, I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, picked it up. Got the full windshield, uh, hand wiper now. 
I noticed they sell like a little electric wiper, like $52, 60 bucks, something like that. Might try one of those out down the road, but first winter for the current budget, she's gonna be uh, gonna be a hand crank wiper. So we'll get started on this, get this through on there, and then we will maybe jump out and test it out. Check her clutch noise. We got the relocation kit on this one. Uh, did a, got the relocation kit there so it's on air that should help with our clutch noise um but we'll see how bad the the clutch rattle is there 5500 something like that uh, i've been in a couple other ones with a full windshield and it'll bust your ear drums out so we'll see how it is um but we'll get it thrown on there and like i said we blew the budget a little bit when the upper doors came available i saved up money had enough to cover the windshield and stuff but probably shouldn't probably shouldn't have spent the money and got the upper doors but i did anyway um so hopefully we we'll get a lot of snow this winter keep me nice and toasty do my best to keep bringing you guys two videos a week and through the winter time because uh you know a lot of people don't come out and ride a lot in the winter time uh if it's snowing everybody's game if it's just cold and miserable they stay home so uh, i think for me for right now i'm gonna do the windshield the back glass i'm not gonna put the upper doors on it just yet um because i know they're gonna stay covered up and filthy um and i'm probably gonna need some fender flares probably help a lot keeping the side windows clean once they get dirty you can't see out of them uh, i got a little enclosure on my razor uh you can't see out of it so i'm not gonna put them on just yet unless i absolutely have to uh, i'm thinking with maybe the front windshield and the back glass and uh might do a modification to the back panel on the turbo might buy a spare there and do some modifications there to get a little bit of heat in the cab uh, i'm thinking if i can keep most of the wind off of me i'll be okay for this winter uh, i don't mind bundling up a little bit i'd rather bundle up a little bit and see where i'm going than um, to wear this and drive around I know with enclosure half time on you know as soon as you put it on there you hit two mud holes your windows are dirty your front windshield's dirty you're trying to hand crank it and you're like yes and what you can't hear nothing i mean you're just all the time riding like that all day long so we're going to hold off on the upper doors but we'll go ahead and throw the rest of it on there the back window I know you're probably tired of listening to me, Jad. I'm just just out here hanging around by myself today. Uh, got the back glass. Uh, it came pretty much as you see it, except for these little plates here. I did have to bolt them on. I went ahead and bolted those on. And then it pretty much just Velcro's in place. So all I gotta do is tear the film off. Uh, I done test fit it before I took the film off. Looks like it's gonna work really nice. And it's just going to Velcro in place. So that should be pretty simple. Um, and then the rest of these tools are going to go over here. Uh, as far as the full windshield, it's semi already put together. Um, it's got this bottom piece. Slide this out so you see it. It's got this bottom piece right here as you're setting inside. That's how your windshield is going to set. This bottom piece here actually folds in and out to get you some airflow. And these little, that's, go. that's gonna go this side. These go in there kind of like that. To flip your windshield open and shut if you wanna get some fresh breeze in, um, which we're not gonna run this in the summertime, but uh, still at midday at three or four hour window, I was talking about earlier where it's hot in the middle of the day, that'll probably come in really handy so you got to bolt one here one here to flip the windshield open there those are right there got two of those that's what i had to go get the nuts for and then this plate here fills the gap between the top of the windshield and the roof on the x3 now i think it's one two three four bolts to bolt those two together and then you've got two four six eight to put those on so now we got our hardware ba bam and uh, we'll get started.
got a clamp here clamp on the other side that bolts to the windshield on the bottom and then there's two clamps that go up here on the plastic piece uh i threw the little windshield off i just slid that back the roof instead of taking it all the way off popped it loose slid it back that'll give me plenty of room to get in there so we'll set the windshield on maybe go ahead and stick a bolt in these bottom two clamps just to hold it in place and then i'll set the plastic piece that goes on top of the windshield up there and get it put in place may I may have to take in plastic clips off uh, yep i think those are going to have to come off so we'll have to pop them off real quick here's kind of what it's going to look like but we've got to remove these two little holders i think it's just I'll pop it open anyway um I think it's just a uh, one Allen head or something to pop them off. So we'll pop them off and then uh, set that windshield back in place. Finish snugging all that down. Pretty much all we got is uh, a couple bolts down here on the bottom. A couple bolts down here on the bottom. One on this corner, one on that corner. The two up here for the clamps. One chair and one there. Then four right here. Stick our wiper through. It's just two nuts. A couple little rubber, a couple little rubber grippers. <clears throat> Stick that through the hole there. Snug it down. Then we'll play with the wiper, see what works on it. Uh, we'll get to the wiper. We'll get back to the front windshield, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on there and Then we'll uh, move to the back Look good looking good looking real good. I like it She's on there. She's done ain't, ain't, ain't a perfect fit down here around the bottom But you know Who went with the budget? My budget, I mean the absolute cheapest I can find it. That would be this one. But got, uh, they sent a 14 inch wiper with it. I went ahead and put the, uh, see if y'all can get a shot, see if I can get a shot of this. It's, uh, went ahead and put the 19 on it. Uh, cause the way it swipes, it, uh, yeah, the 14 was, you know, it still didn't clean this whole bottom corner. So I went ahead and put the 19 on there. So it'll clean just a little bit better. It comes all the way down. It almost touches down here in the middle. Almost touches up here at the top. So that there should work real nice. Hits a little early here, but that'll be okay. Uh, so as long as picking this up, probably, probably won't clean a little bit right in here, but not real big. I'd rather this be clean than a little section right here in the middle. So there's that. <clears throat> Good to go. On there, finished. Got the roof back on. Uh, little vents. I tighten them up. They're working now. Slide in and out. Let's see if I can loosen them up. <clears throat> Show you that. Hold on a second. Let me go around the other side. It's got two on it. One in the middle would have been nice. So you don't have to go all the way. Reach across the dash. But There you go. And crack it open a little bit. If you want a little air. So it's getting real hot in there. Boom. Ram scoop. That'll grab as much air as you want in there. That'll blow your hair out. Windshield's on. She's finished. Looks, looks pretty good. I know some of the other brands it's glass down through here and all this is glass so you lose some vision up here 
leaves very little down here just cause of the nose of the machine anyway but uh initial thoughts for riding with it i like it uh they should send a bigger wiper with it a little 14 inch i didn't care for and uh the proper nut size would be great here's all the nuts that they left me every one of them was too big uh but timmy also runs this windshield i think he's got one or two rides on it his came with the proper nuts so you know luck of the draw there i guess uh but he didn't have to go get anything uh except for the bigger wiper he's the one that informed me that the 14 inch was a little small uh, i think timmy did a 17 inch yeah so i bought a 17 and a 19 i'm going 19 we'll see how it works but i got 17 in case 19 you know doesn't work very well but it's on uh now i'm gonna throw the back window on it and then we'll take it up the road uh like i said the back window should be pretty easy uh, it's pretty much just velcro i already bolted these two tabs on it for the velcro to go through so we'll set it on there pull the film velcro it on then we'll take it up the road and see if we've got any eardrums left when we get back from our clutch noise which i would say with that little baby there little relocation kit we should be good to go Nice little tinted back piece. You're talking about not being able to see anything. Might as well forget it. All right, we got, we got them on. I think that's it. Everything's snug and ready to go lights warming up i'm gonna pick up this trash and that trash and that that was on the back and this trash and we just bring that drug out and while i was dragging all this out but i'll clean all that up while while it's heating up then we'll, we'll shoot down shoot down the trail see what we got see if we likes it or not
to give you a little bit better review once we're in the woods with it. 